Aquarius, Aquarius, Aqua Gang, Aqua Family. What's up? What it do? Y'all already know what time it is. It is your girl, Life of Pinky, period. And I am back again with another reading for my Aquas. How y'all feeling, honey? If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Baby, if you're returning, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Anyway, Aquas, what's up? What's going on at the table tonight? Uh -huh. What's going on at the table tonight, Aquas? Let's go ahead and get some good energy flowing in here. I feel like I want to do a love reading. But some just told me to hit the blunt. Okay. Hold on, Aquas. Hold on. Watch out, blunt. Put your lighters up. Okay, somebody putting their lighter up. Somebody done smoking. Somebody might have just quit smoking. Sorry if this is triggering. Let's get some messages from your divine masculine, divine feminine. Let's see how that's about to go. Hmm. Here, what messages do we have for the Aquarius? Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquas? I did not do it. Mm. Okay, Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aquarius? messages do you have for my aquas? Two more cards. Two more cards for the Aquarius. What messages do we have for my aquas? One more card, Spirit. One more card for the Aquas. Let's get one more. Aquarius, somebody's being very stubborn. I don't know if this is you or if this is your divine feminine or your divine masculine, but someone here is being very stubborn. And I'm trying to. Oh. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, they're being stubborn. What did I say? I will wait for a sign from you. I'm going to just wait on you because I'm not going to make no moves. I'm going to just wait on you. Okay. we just going to wait on you, Aqua. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You came closer to anyone. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I'm not laughing at y'all. Y'all, this energy, just, first of all, this person is stubborn. Let's start there. This is a very stubborn person. This is a very, um, kind of like a finger pointer, you know? Kind of like a, uh, no, you did. I know I did that, but what about what you did? I know it was my fault, but I'm going to find a way to make it your fault. I'm going to find a way to blame you, Aquarius. I feel like you came closer to anyone else as far as, Making this person fall in love, making this person fall for you just in general, um, making this person feel anything, feel love or feel like they could be loved. You came closer to anyone. I feel like you claim you came closer than anyone to breaking that wall down. And now this person can't go to bed at night. Hence the reason why I'm doing a late reading. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get some messages of love before we get into the tarot. Here, what messages do we have for my Aquarius? What messages? This is going to be really quick. Little Pop Tart reading. <laughs> little quick, little Toast Strudel reading. Okay. Some quick. Little microwave. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, somebody here like Pop Tarts or Toast Strudel. I don't like Toast Strudel. I like Pop Tarts. Here, what messages do we have for the Aquarius? Three cards for the Aquarius. What messages do we have for the Aquarius? 
card in this situation? What messages do we have for the Aquarius? card in this situation? Integrity. Yeah, somebody's walking away with, with their integrity. You're walking away with your values, your morals. Does this situation align with your values and your morals? I feel like you walked away with this. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Like... Motherfucker, I got too much integrity to sit here and let you play in my goddamn face like I'm some type of fucking fool. I, I, baby, you can point the finger all you want. But we know who it is, baby. My values and my morals are oh, way too high for the bullshit. Yeah, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like you accepted this and then you accepted. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, blame me. You need somebody to blame. You need somebody to project that energy on too. So go ahead. Blame me. Um, this situation is definitely not, you know, valuing me. Uh, my morals are a little higher. This just fell out as soon as I split the cards. It slid out. Lesson. So, I feel like you learned your lesson from this situation. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. But I feel like you learned your lesson. Um, you figured out that your integrity mattered more to you than a relationship with this person. And you decided to walk away. Yeah. It was strictly sexual. It was all strictly... <laughs> I just heard strictly dickly. So somebody here don't play that way. Okay. Uh, anyway, it was a strictly sexual connection. All you two did was have sex. We got different pages. You two were never on the same page. It's like you was in uh, baby book one, chapter two. They all the way in the back of the book reading the damn caps, reading the damn uh, glossary. I can't even get my words out. Strictly sexual connection. This connection is passionate but not enduring. So it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to last. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> somebody here is allergic to the bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Somebody here. <laughs> somebody allergic to the bullshit. Somebody might have tried to come back around or come back and try to offer you some sex. And you realize that it was only going to be a, another, you know, failed sexual connection something toxic you know <laughs> and you was like no ma'am no sir okay we're not doing that mm -mm. not today satan at the bottom of the deck different pages you and this person don't share the same vision so i feel like the way you looked at something the way you saw something the way you saw something ending or continuing or expanding or transitioning or transforming that's not how they saw it Okay, they're not on the same page as you. Spirit, give me some more for the Aquarius. What are the messages do we have for my oh. mm. awakening? Yeah, you woke up. You woke up, Aquarius, and I feel like you almost woke woke this person up. You almost, yeah, you're almost there. You came closer than anybody else did to waking this motherfucker up, but it's like, nope, this motherfucker's stubborn. This is a stubborn motherfucker. Yeah. Denial. They were in denial or <laughs> somebody's denying something, baby. Detached would love to clearly see the truth. It's like you're in denial. Someone here is in some type of denial energy. Maybe you were denied. Maybe this person denied you. I feel like they're denying this awakening. Baby. Yeah, so there's an interference and someone has a decision to make. So there's an interference that's happening with this awakening. I feel like there's a third party and external parties are intruding on this relationship. So I feel like there's a third party here um, that's hindering this person's awakening, like their transition or their transformation. I feel like they have a decision to make or you do. It's time to decide about this relationship. Yeah, this person here is obsessed. This third party energy, somebody here is obsessed. Obsession. Someone in this connection is griped by obsessive thoughts. Or this may be your person. Maybe they are obsessed. They're obsessed with um with the thought of being back in your energy, but I just feel like they can't shake this third party for some reason. They have a decision to make. It's either going to be you or the third party. This third party could also be obsessed with them. Or they're obsessed with the fact that this person is obsessed with you. So that's for who that's for. Spirit, what are the messages do we have for the Aquarius? Twin flame. I just saw twin flame. So this is definitely your twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine. It's a soul connection. You two are still on two different pages. And I told you somebody here denied somebody. We got rejection here. So somebody rejected something 
or there was a rejection that took place and it needed to happen you and this person don't share the same vision we already discussed that you're not on the same page right now it's like they're looking at something completely different from the way you're looking at it and it's because they're denying this awakening um you could be spiritual you could be spiritually in tune and they could think you're a fucking witch okay or a warlock so that's for who that's for uh yeah we got rejection this rejection is actually divinely uh, protected or is actually divine protection so this rejection needed to happen you needed to be rejected from this connection um, or ejected I just heard from this connection in order to grow in order to expand in order to wake the fuck up <laughs> okay aqua somebody allergies fucking up too we have acceptance at the bottom of the day so you accepted this rejection like I said acceptance still showed up after all of this after this lesson after these decisions after this interference after y'all being on a different page after it being strictly sexual after you understanding your uh, integrity more and realizing what you needed to do I feel like rejection goes here you finally accepted it you finally accepted it it is what it is i just heard and it was what it was <laughs> so give me one more one more for this last card one more message for the aquas past life love your soul remembers this intense connection so this is a divine connection honey this is a soul contract um this is definitely past life energy. This person keeps showing up. You can have children with this person. Children are important to this partnership. Or someone here wants children with you. Maybe they want children. Or maybe you wanted children. Or maybe you two thought you were having children. Or maybe you're going to come back together. I don't know. It's just not meant to be right now. I'm getting um, everything is happening in divine time, timing. Um, now it's time for you to heal Aquarius. It's not time. Okay, it's not time. 12.22 on the timestamp. It's time to heal. It's time to grow. It's time to expand your consciousness. Y'all can't keep playing in the same fucking energy, period. And y'all can't keep letting motherfuckers play in y'all energy. That shit is just not cool. The fuck? And don't let a motherfucker take you out of character, Aquarius, okay? Continue to be the happy, <laughs> free-spirited, honey, funny, <laughs> blunt, being that you are period kings and queens guys and goddesses <laughs> witches and warlocks vampires and werewolves i don't know be you be uniquely you all right tell me about this first file clarify the first file spirit Y'all, I really love these, by the way. And then I found my crystal to match. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Anywho. <laughs> Spirit, clarify the first pile. Clarify the first. Maybe this is past. This is past life energy regardless. This is a past life love connection, honey. This is a soul contract. This is your twin flame could also be your soulmate. Six of Cups, yeah. <laughs> Past. Hmm. Somebody's very nostalgic or somebody's thinking about you. I don't know. That's hmm. <laughs> cute. That's cute. Could we deal with the Scorpio? By the way, this says past children, memories, friends, second chance at love, reigniting the past and nostalgia. And at the bottom of the deck, we got justice. So I feel like you're going to be getting this, this, some type of karmic justice, though. It's like this person tried to put the blame on you. Somebody lied as well. Somebody lied and, and told some type of lie. And you walked away with your integrity, your dignity, honey, your values, your morals, your self-respect. You walked away with it. Do you understand? I feel like somebody's going to get a karmic lesson as well. Somebody's learning some type of karmic lesson. But you're going to be served justice for this, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Libra as well. Or it, this could have been some type of Libra and Scorpio, you know, combination. Okay? 
Um, but yeah, this is about things going right or the truth being revealed. What does the card say? Balance, decision, legal contract, responsibility, agreement, cause and effect. So I feel like, like I said, somebody tried to tried to make up some bullshit about you in this in this scenario right here. In the past or some type of shit. This could have been a friend, a loved one. I don't know. Um, I just feel like there's going to be a second chance for this, this conversation or this connection or whatever this is. It's giving me twin flame energy again as well. Somebody could be in a same-sex relationship or this is just two really close best friends or sisters or cousins or something here. Okay. Somebody lied. Period. There are children involved as well. There could also be someone coming back from the past to reignite this love. This past life love. Somebody could be returning to give you their cup. Six of Cups is about uh, gifts as well. So somebody could be coming back in to bring you some type of gift. I just feel like the gift is going to be your justice, Aquarius. You're going to get justice regardless. <laughs> Duh. Clarify the middle. Duh. Period. Because you woke the fuck up. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. Luxurious. Realistic. You woke up. Like I said, you're realistic. You were realistic about accepting what the fuck it was going to be. You knew what it was. Look, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You knew somebody was moving slow. This Knight is trying to come towards you, but you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like they're not... I mean... You know, they have like a solid, stable offer. It's just they move very slow. They move at their own pace. This is the slowest card of the deck. So, the slowest night, I should say. Um, but yeah, you're very luxurious right now. You're going to be. You're realistic. You're grounding yourself. Uh, you could be pregnant or this is just a motherly figure. You're also a homemaker. It says practical and organized or you're trying to get in that energy. You're waking up into this Queen of Pentacles energy. And I feel like now this you came closer to than anyone is, is your spirit guides talking to you and the universe. You came closer than anyone. So keep going. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, solid offer, stagnant energy, patience, hard working, responsible, slow moving, and persistent. I feel like they're very slow moving. They're, you know, slow at, you know, expressing themselves. And they're slow at phone calls. And they're slow at texting back. And they're just fucking slow. Okay? <laughs> but they're coming in. This is a solid offer. They're very persistent. They're not going to give up. It's like maybe they, you know, disappear for a little while. Give you some time to cool off because, you know, we be needing our time to cool off so maybe this person is you know giving you some time to cool off but i feel like they want to come in with this two of cups this says soulmate connection in love union harmony happy relationship friends reconciliation so there's definitely going to be some reconciliation here someone's coming back for forgiveness clarify the last pile we're going to clarify these Mm. King of Wands. So maybe a King of Wands rejected you or you rejected a King of Wands. Or maybe this King of Wands. This is who is up late at night fantasizing and doing the most about you, Aquarius, per usual. You know, we got Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting this King of Wands. They're showing up as a King of Wands, but low-key, they're the Page of Pentacles. You know, they're younger than you. They're in this young child-like energy, but it's like... They want to be this king of wands. I feel like they're, they, they're wearing some type of mask. This is giving me two different pages. Yeah, they ass on two different pages is what's going on. Nigga, you can't show up as the king of wands and you really the page of pentacles. I mean, you got a little bag. You got a, you know, you got a little coin. You got a little coin, but you can't show up like this big man Dingo. King warrior. Leo. To, I said Leo. So, you can be dealing with the Leo. I don't know. Fire sign energy. But, yeah, Leo the Lion is what I was going to say. So, hmm. You can be dealing with the Leo, but I'm getting this is Sagittarius energy all day long. Um, leader, center stage, control and focused, possessive, magnetic, independent, and bold. So, this could be a controlling, some type of controlling energy where they feel like, you know, maybe you two were supposed to be on the same page, but it didn't end up like that. 
I don't know. I don't know, Aquas. I feel like this person is very bold, independent, very out loud and in your face with it. 2020 on the timestamp. So, yeah, they have to be the center of attention or center stage or all eyes on me is what I'm getting. Energy. So, yeah, Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's some type of new opportunity coming in. Someone could be going back to school as well or, or you're just going to be a student of this lesson, I feel like. Um, you've gotten some type of new idea or maybe you you're going to get a raise at work. You found a new hobby that you like to do and you're going to turn that into an income for yourself. You're going to teach others how to do this as well. Okay, go Aquarius. We have a solid message. So this, I feel like there's a solid message coming towards you, but I feel like you're planning or you're like, as Aquarius, we are, you know, planners, period. We calculate everything. So I feel like, um... When this person comes towards you, you're going to make some type of calculated decision. But I don't feel like you're going to accept this offer right now. I'm not getting it. I mean, prove me wrong, Aqua 2121 on the same thing. Prove me wrong. I'm not getting that you're going to accept this shit. I'm not. Look at her. Do y'all see her? She's... The bit ain't, ain't a bit more impressed by them flowers. Okay? She ain't a bit more impressed. You ain't talked to this person in a month of Sundays, I just heard. And now they want to come back around pop up. Hey, Aqua, I miss you. Hey, big head. I miss you. Ah, ah, ah. Ta, ta, ta. Pay attention to the red flags, Aquarius. Pay attention. Can you clarify the six of cups? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> clarify the six of cups. Someone's going to be insta-famous, I just heard. Three of Cups clarified by the... I mean, Six of Cups. So, someone's in Three of Cups energy. Celebration. Ah, good thing. Good thing. But we got the Three of Wands instead. Expansion, confidence, waiting period, success, relocation, receiving opportunities. So, someone wants to expand with you. Someone's feeling confident enough to come back around. I feel like, yes, they've had you in this waiting period. I told you where you felt like you were in limbo or they had you in limbo. Like, yeah, some of you could also be relocating or moving. You're going to have some type of success, I told you. You're going to receive a lot of opportunities. There are going to be a lot of opportunities coming towards you. Yeah, with the world, you've completed a lesson or some type of cycle. It says conclusion, completion, karmic lesson, success, level up, achievement, knowledge. There's definitely a level up happening. We talked about the level up last night. We ain't got to touch back on that. But, yeah, <laughs> Y'all are definitely expanding. I feel like your mind is expanding. Your heart is expanding. Maybe you're expanding your family. I don't know. The Six of Cups is def definitely giving me a child. Okay. Someone wants to give you a child, Aquarius. I don't know. We have the World card at the bottom of the deck. I just feel like this is a... A period of accomplishments you've, you've achieved your goals you've uh, you know met your objectives you've completed a cycle you're paving away for new beginnings for yourself yeah six of pentacles you're definitely going to be able to enjoy this income or i'm getting maybe you need to save give back what's at the top <laughs> yeah page of wands so i told you you ain't talked to this person in a month of sundays no commitment, no communication. Now this person want to come back around. They're sending mixed messages or mixed singles. This is a very free-spirited person like yourself. So this is why you two collide or bump heads, I'm getting. This person is very impulsive as well. So they do things just out of the norm, out of nowhere. Maybe one day out of nowhere, they just reach out. At the blue. Yeah, we got the lover's card here. So, yeah. This person definitely wants to come back around. Partnership, being in love, commitment, choices, crossroads, and harmonized relationships. We got the page of swords. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody's talking about you or talking about you and your person or talking about you to your person. Or maybe this is uh, a Gemini you're dealing with. I don't know. We got lovers in the page of swords. Page of swords is uh, air sign energy. So, I don't know. And every time I turn this lover's card, I try to turn it the right way, everything turns sideways. So I feel like maybe something with you and a Gemini went sideways. And now maybe they're talking about you behind your back. Hold on, y'all. Speaking of a Gemini. Hold on. Okay, Aqua. So, yeah. I don't know. Something could have went sideways with you and this Gemini I'm getting. Um, whew, I'm out of breath. Hold on. 
And I gotta pee. Hold on, y'all. Okay, Aquas, I'm back. So, somebody could be running away from this connection, too. Somebody's running away from talking about this or running away from having to think about this. Hmm. Partnership, being in love. Commitment, choices, crossword, roads. <laughs> I was going to say crosswords. Somebody's doing crossword puzzles. You enjoy that in your spare time? That's who that's for. Harmonized relationship. But at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting somebody is hating or pissed off or upset. Maybe this is his third party interference. I'm getting somebody's upset. They jealous. They hating. They talking about you in this connection behind your back. <laughs> Maybe you took your baby back. You took your man back. You took your girl back. And now somebody... You're going to get messages about it. Oh, that's for who that's for. Curious, quick-witted, intelligent, nosy, stalker, watching everything message. Yeah. You're going to get... Me and then we... I told you with the eight of ones up under that. You're going to get messages about this. Somebody just wants to come back and be in your energy just to see what you got going on. Social media. I told y'all, somebody going to be insta-famous. And it's going to happen fast. Quick karma, fast-moving, positive news. Spirit, clarify the king of wands. Somebody could be talking about you in this connection, I feel like. Or, or I don't know. I'm getting somebody's jealous of this connection that you two share. And they want to do anything to break it apart. <laughs> break it apart. This King of Wands could have also broken your heart. You got uh, Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Sadness, Betrayal, Stabbed in the Back, Third Party Situation, Grim Ending. And at the bottom of the deck, Five of Cups, which left you in this feeling of loss, betrayal, heartbreak, depression, stress, sadness, separation, loneliness. There was a breakup. And now somebody's regretting it, though. So I feel like the tables have turned. I feel like this is the karmic lesson. You learned your lesson. You learned your lesson. With the judgment card here, tower card happening. You have... Happening happens. I said happening, so this could be happening now. But I'm feeling like you, you're you learning or you've learned your lesson, Aquarius. Five of Cups, we got the judgment, awakening, resurrection, reincarnation, reunion, shocking, extension, and rebirth. Yeah, something happens so fast. Force change, destruction, catastrophe, damage, rebuild, liberation. So I feel like you had to build yourself back up from this bullshit. I feel like, too, somebody is in your mix or wants to be in your mix that's trying to figure out how you continuously manifest everything that you manifest. They want to know. Okay, and they're telling me not the goddesses. Okay. So we're going to get some hip-hop queens. That's what they said. Lil' Kim, yeah, you were resilient. In the line of fire, baby. I said this was going to be a quick little Pop-Tart reading. Baby, this done turned into messages from the soul with Sister Soldier. Sister Soldier is in this deck. And <laughs> that's funny. I just picked up on some Sister Soldier energy. Somebody could be reading um, some Sister Soldier books right now. I'm hearing the coldest winter ever. It's about to be the coldest winter ever. Midnight. guys somebody your name could be Bilal somebody name is Mercedes anyway let's keep going Portia and Alexis okay so if <laughs> those are your names I'm talking to you I'm hearing Jasmine. Catherine. Connie. Constance. 
constant. I feel like there was a constant cycle. There was a... Ooh, okay. So the energy I just... Somebody here is a... This king dingling, for one, is a player. That's clearly what's going on. Um, because I just named, like, one male and, like, five or six female names. So, yeah. This king dingling here is a player. Left you in some three of swords ass energy. Left you in this five of clubs feeling, you know, betrayed depressed there was a lot of sadness that came with this and i just feel like i saw little kim part which is resilience and i feel like you had to find the strength within you to continue to move forward it took a lot out of you but you figured it out this is why i feel like some of you aren't going to accept this connection back or this offer mm. moving right along I don't know why I get the most messages during the shuffle, but Spirit, what hip hop queen is coming through for my Aquarius? What hip hop queen is coming through? Show me two queens. Which hip hop queens are coming through? Give me two queens. Spirit, which queen is coming through for my Aquarius? Okay, and we got three. <laughs> So we got Keelani superstition. Someone here is very superstitious or they believe <laughs> in superstitions. So I feel like somebody's going to get their fucking karma. We got Janelle Monet fluidity. So I feel like someone could be sexually fluid. Okay, there. I said it. And I'm done. And baby, I can't make this shit up, Aquarius. Sister, soldier, herself. Self, okay, I told y'all she was here. I fucking said it. We got power. You stood in your power. You're standing in your power at this time, Aquarius. You don't got time for the bullshit. Y'all, cool. We got that city girl energy. Period. City girls up 5,000 points. City girls with the hustle. Y'all done found. Yeah, I got the mind and the muscle. Fuck you to my eye. Okay, hustle man, hustle girl. City girls, I want to read the energy for y'all, but I feel like we just going to, you know, I feel like y'all get into the bag. You get into the money. You're connected. Rod Digger, connectivity. You're connected right now. Your self-esteem is on fire. Your potential is screaming. I don't know what else to tell you. You're standing in your power, sister soldier. Okay, period. Because I told y'all, somebody here told y'all I was going to like this. Y'all didn't think that I could like this. Okay, Aquarius. Thank y'all for this energy so much. Thank you, spirit, spirit, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like Spiritual Burps. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. As I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Comment down below. Oh, and I never plug my other channel. So please go check out Star Mystique's tarot channel, honey. Where we do all signs, all placements. We do self-care Sundays over there. That's going to be a thing over there for all the signs. So join me. Anyway, I love you guys so much again. And thank you for watching. Peace, love, and light. Peace out.